Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are continuing our physical inventory series. In our previous video, we created a physical inventory document. Now, after the physical inventory document is created, the materials on our physical inventory document are counted fiscally and recorded on our physical inventory document. After that, we come and enter our account in the system. So today, we'll focus on entering our account and then changing our physical account if there's any discrepancies and we had to count again. So we do this by clicking on our Enter Inventory Count tab. Now, it navigates us to our Enter Inventory Count screen where we enter our physical inventory document number and our count date. We go ahead to specify our account date and then we push enter. It brings up our fiscal inventory document where we can enter our account quantity. So we will enter account quantity, which is 700, and then we can click on post. We have successfully entered our account so we can exit our screen but in a scenario whereby we couldn't count properly or we feel like this doesn't need to recount we can perform a recount now after performing the recount we can come and change our fiscal count in our fiscal inventory document. This we do by clicking our change inventory count and it navigates us to a screen where we enter our fiscal inventory number and then we can push enter. You realize that it brings up our screen with our initial inventory count and allows us to make a change to our inventory count. So we will adjust our inventory count and then we can go ahead and click post we have successfully changed our accounts and our account is recorded in our fiscal inventory document kindly subscribe and come back for the next process in our fiscal inventory process Thank you.